a mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Okay, you're Robin. Yes! What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Talk to Lily yet? Yeah. She thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment, too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. I think about you, too. Our group is small. You're small. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Don't call me small. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. Clem. I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. 
The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car, and I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh, man, come on, man. What? I gotta ask. No. I killed a guy in a fight. Hmm. Must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. So we're straight then. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh... That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I held Lily back, and Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> gotcha. Everything keeps changing. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. 
You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Hey, Ben, I need to tell you something. Surely. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I was, uh, on my way to prison before this. Whoa, seriously? What, um, were you in for? It's not important. Oh. Just, if you hear anything, it's probably true. And now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I... Uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. Doc! A clue! Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. here too see I did good huh yeah duck you did I suppose I should go out there and look around you stay here this time seriously okay You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't 